Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So a few days back, I uploaded a video regarding PhD admission notification from University of Hyderabad. And a lot many of you showed interest in that and you asked regarding other updates, regarding how to fill the form, what are the eligibility criteria, where is the center and all. So I just thought to make a detailed video. In this video, I'll discuss about how to fill the form. Also, I'll talk about the eligibility criteria. I'll also talk about uh, what type of question paper is asked and all the things, okay, all the basic things which you need to know uh, in order to take admission in, in the University of Hyderabad, I'm going to talk about it, okay. So that's what this video is going to be all about. So here is the page. This is the official website. I'll give you a link to reach out to this particular page in the description of this video so that you can directly come up to this particular website, all right. So this is admission portal or you can say this is the academic profile of the University of Hyderabad. Now over here the first link which says PhD admission 2022 notification. Now if you click on this you will be able to uh, like go to that particular page where admission process is going on. So let's click on this and on clicking on this you will be taken to this particular PhD admission 2022 page. Now here it says that how you can apply so all the things are written that you can apply between 25th of August to 15th of September and that's what they have uh, like that's the date in between which you can apply for this particular uh, PhD position over here and these things or these documents are needed in order to fill the form. You need a photograph, you need a signature, you need educational certificates means your class 10 certificate, class uh, like uh, BSc certificate, MSc certificates so all these things are required over here. Then if you have net JRF certificate in that case that is also required. So in case if you have only net then also it is required if you have JRF certificate then also it is required okay. Uh, then your caste certificate if it is applicable and if you belong to EWS category then also that certificate is being asked. Uh, application fees are like 600 rupees for open category, EWS category 550 rupees and for OBCA NCL category 400 rupees and for SCST PWD candidates it's 275 rupees to be paid for the application form okay. Fees once paid is not going to be refunded. Now before going into all the other details, uh, just quick answer for few questions which you have asked. First thing is that uh, uh, as I told in the previous video that if you have JRF in that case you don't have to sit in the entrance exam, you will be directly eligible to apply or to sit in the uh, interview. In that case also you have to fill the form. So that means if you are a JRF candidate and want to take admission, then also you have to fill the form. And after filling the form, you don't have to sit for the entrance exam. You have to directly go for the interview. Okay. Now, somebody asked me that uh, whether net qualified, only LS or only net qualified students are also exempted from the exam. No, it's not like that. If you are just qualified net, in that case, you have to go through the regular procedure. That means you have to go through uh, the entrance exam and then you have to go for the uh, interview. Okay. So that means if you have just JRF, then only you are eligible to sit or in or then only you will be exempted from the entrance exam. Second question was that how much uh, like uh, fellowship or how much a stipend is being paid in order to uh, someone who has taken admission and who does not have any JRF or any other fellowship. So let me be very clear with it. Those who don't have JRF, those who don't have Inspire fellowship or any other fellowship like RGNF or any other fellowship. In that case, they are only going to get 8000 rupees per month. Okay, so that is what currently uh, University of Hyderabad is paying. Okay, so that is called non net fellowship and that is what they are paid. Even if you are net qualified, then also you will only get this much amount. So these things I guess you should know before applying for it. Okay, now if still you are you are interested to do uh, to go for it or to apply for it, then I'll explain how to do it. One thing which you have to make clear or one thing which you should have in mind is that uh, like there are very few places apart from IITs, ISERs, there are very few places where you can uh, do PhD and along with that uh, you are also eligible to apply for PMRF fellowship. PMRF fellowship again I will tell you, I will give you link in the i button, watch that video I have uh, discussed detail about PMRF fellowship, it's uh, 70,000 rupees per month, uh, although the criteria is little tough but it's not like you can apply only if you are in certain institutes and uh, University of Hyderabad is one of them. Also, I told you in the previous video that uh, the, the infrastructure is well uh, maintained. So in that case, you won't have uh, like you won't be having any problem doing research, doing uh, top grade research, I would say. Okay, coming down a little bit. So this is the page which I just told you in order to apply for this, what you have to go is go for online application. Okay. Now before going into that, let me tell you about minimum qualification which is required. So once you click on this, uh, PDF will be downloaded in which uh, subject wise, 
and PhD course and minimum qualification is mentioned. So since we resonate with chemistry, so let me to take you to the chemistry page. So PhD in chemistry, for that you need MSc or equivalent degree in chemistry or in any elite subject with at least 55% marks. Okay, So you need at least 55% marks in MSc or any equivalent degree in chemistry or in the elite subject. What are elite subjects? So B.Tech in chemical engineering, B Pharma, MSc in physics or life sciences, these are all treated as a elite subject. So in that case, if you are B Pharma student, if you are a B.Tech in chemical engineering, in that case also you can apply for PhD in chemistry. So that is what it is. Okay. Coming back to this page, here is the link where you can apply online. Okay. So once you click on this, you will be taken to the page where actually you have to uh, like uh, you have to first of all choose new registration. Like when you want to take uh, like when you are started filling, when you have started filling, in that case you have to click over here that is for the new registration. And then uh, once you are registered for that, once you click on this. They are going to ask you basic details like your name, your email address, then your uh, some password you have to create, then your mobile number and then this CAPTCHA code. Once you will be done with this, like uh, your email address is going to be your login ID and the password which you have generated will be the password over there. Okay. Then again it says name and the other details should be same as on your 10th board mark sheet then registered email id should be there so that they will give you a verification code that verification code you have to paste then only it will go and they have said that you can use uh, google chrome in order to have a good uh, web viewing of that okay so you have to fill this and then register for this okay so i'll just quickly do that to show you what happens in the next step all right so once you have registered successfully once you have verified your email address by giving the verification code in the space provided uh, now you can actually log in using your email address and the password which you have given okay so if you uh, like write down and if you just fill the captcha code you can simply log in inside so once you log in you will be able to see a particular page like this uh, here will be your name shown over here these will be your email address your phone number and all the things okay uh, basic details and then your profile details are going to be here now in this profile detail uh, you have to actually complete it okay you cannot select the subject as soon as the form starts up. Okay, so this is little different from usual form filling. You just have to click on this complete profile and then you will be taken to this page. Now here you have to fill the personal detail. Here you have to fill your uh, first name, middle name, last name, then your gender, all the basic detail about it, your personal detail. Then you have to fill the detail regarding your place of birth and then you have to fill the detail regarding your family. Okay. Then you have to fill another detail regarding that whether you are already registered to uh, Hyderabad admission or whether you have studied any college affiliated to HCU. So that is one thing. And then if you belong to any other quota or if you, if there is some other, uh, you know, uh, if you belong to a particular category. So all those details are over here. Then your address details. So, and at the end, they will also ask you about your bank details. So these are going to be the basic uh, or the profile details which they actually ask from you. So I don't think any problem is going to be here. All the things are pretty simple to understand and I'll just quickly fill it uh, just uh, in a demo mode so that I can show you that how exactly it looks. Okay. So I'm not going to fill it for myself or I'm not going to fill it for anybody. I'm just filling it for some random guys are here. Okay. And I'll fill this form uh, like uh, just and these all mobile numbers and everything are just temporary numbers. Okay. So I'll be just filling it uh, for the sake so that you can see that what happens in the next step. So I'll just quickly do it and then I'll show you what happens in the next step. Okay, so whenever you will fill the uh, one part of the form, they are actually going to show you whatever you have filled and at the end you will have uh, three options. One, you can go to the home but home screen. Second is you can update any changes if you want to make. And then third thing is uh, you can go to the next thing. Okay, so let's uh, take it and let's go to the next one. Okay, now here it, there are other details which are being asked that uh, do you have any illness and all okay regarding that if you have any continuous illness so you can mention about it uh, have you participated in nss or ncc you can select that uh, then do you have any sports or do you, have you ever played any sports uh, activities or do you have any certificate regarding that so that particular thing then language selection whether you have proficiency in reading writing and speaking english then hindi also they will ask that whether you know hindi reading writing and speaking if you know any other language, you can mention that as well. Then go save and next to the next thing. Again, they will show you whatever you have selected. They will just show you that, okay, these things are what you have filled. 
now you can go and you can do the next okay now here there are two things which they will ask one is your photograph second is your signature two things you have to upload over here okay and the size limit is the file size should be from 10 kb to 3 mb and they should be in jpg or dot jpg format okay okay one thing that just by selecting the image is not going to upload it actually you have to click over here that start upload once you click it then uh, your image is going to get uploaded okay you have to upload your proper image i'm just filling the form for the demo purpose that's why i have not uploaded any photograph i have just uploaded the logo for this particular youtube channel so yeah that's what you have to do but you have to upload your own photograph and your signature over here all right now just let's take to the like that says that submit the profile okay so let's submit it it says that uh, no modification is allowed once the profile is submitted so make sure whatever you have filled till now there should be no changes going to be made further so all your basic details all all your uh, like profile details should be correct your photograph and signature should be correct these many things you have to uh, like uh, upload properly once you are uh, satisfied with it you have to click over here in the declaration and then you have to submit now your uh, this profile detail part is done now you have to fill the program selection okay so now you have to click on apply now for the program selection part now here you have to choose that what program you want to take admission in so there are three options bachelor's master's or doctoral so if you want to take admission in phd chemistry you have to select doctoral okay and then the program so here comes chemistry doctoral in of doctor of philosophy in chemistry that means phd chemistry then they will definitely show you that what is the eligibility criteria so eligibility criteria i already told you it is msc or equivalent degree in chemistry or in elite subject with at least 55 percent marks uh, b tech in chemical engineering b pharma msc in physics or life sciences these all are treated as the elite subjects so you have to click over here okay you have to select on this and then you have to select the exam centers now here is the question like a lot many of you asked that whether the exam center is going to be just in hyderabad no it's not like that you can see in all the major cities of india you have the exam center okay it's not too much but yeah in all the zones you have in the north zone south zone east west all the zones you have uh, major cities okay so you can select your exam city wherever you want to give the exam so i'm just selecting three cities at random you have to make sure that these cities are near to you and you can reach out to these cities for the exam yeah, in majority of the cases you will get the center the first center as your exam center but yet be careful while filling it now once you do next here again they will show you the same thing whatever you did uh, they are just going to show that once again to you if you want to make changes update if you don't want to make changes go to next now here says that here are your personal details which you have already filled okay earlier so now they are just showing you once again so just next over here and see there is no update option in that so that means you cannot make any changes now here are qualification or academic details like when you qualified your 10th exam what were the percentage what were the cgpa so let me quickly do that um, yeah so just let me quickly fill this part uh, and i'll show you what will happen in the next okay one more thing that here if if you are getting cgpa in class 10th which uh, if you have got you have to mention that cgpa and uh, uh, it says that if your marks is in cgpa please convert to equivalent percentage as per the cgpa score okay so that cgpa has to be converted in percentage so let's say the percentage is coming 72 percent let's say so you have to write it down as 72.00 because if you will not do that uh, uh, option will show that please enter the percentage value with two dig uh, digit after the decimal point so you have to mention that dot zero zero or dot two zero whatever your percentage is coming okay well, what was the uh, what is the name of the institution you have to mention the name of institution then the board at by which you have given the exam and the subjects which were there in your class 10th similarly same thing you have to fill for class 12th as well year of passing uh, then your percentage and it says that you have to fill best of five subjects so let's say if there were six subjects in your class 12th in that case best of five are going to be considered then the name of institution board and subject and same goes over here, okay and uh, then uh, qualification details that means uh, whatever qualification detail it is graduation or equivalent so you have to fill over here regarding graduation okay bsc or uh, whatever you did and then comes your post graduation uh, uh, equivalent that means related to your msc okay so here again you have to fill uh, you have to select the options 
whether you are passed or you are appearing that means if you are in the final semester then also you can fill the form so these things you have to fill uh, and then at the end if you have done m fill in that case you have to fill otherwise you can leave this thing empty remember whatever is having this uh, star marked these things only you have to fill as mandatory part other things you can skip okay so let me fill it quickly i'll just do it randomly and then show you what happens in the next step. now once you are done with academic details here comes your net equivalent details in case if you are not qualified in case let's say you are not uh, qualified for uh, if you are not qualified net jrf or any other exam uh, which are mentioned over here csir ugc net without jrf csir ugc net including jrf that means if you are jrf you have to select this option if you are not jrf just net qualified in that case this option okay but let's say you are not qualified uh, like you don't have any of them in that case you don't have to select any okay you can just keep it on select option you don't have to choose any one of them you have to just leave this part as it is and at the end it says do you have research fellowship research fellowship means if you have inspire fellowship or if you have any other fellowship rgnf or any other fellowship in that case only you have to say yes otherwise you have to say no okay when you will say yes they will ask that what is the detail about your research fellowship okay so if you have inspire fellowship write down inspire if you don't have any of them just select no over here and then you can save and next okay if you are let's say qualified uh, without jrf in that case you have to select which year you have qualified then what was your roll number and what was your subject okay if you have jrf equivalent then also same thing so if you don't have anything like if you don't have any jrf or net or anything in that case you don't have to choose anything you just have to select that you don't have any research fellowship and then save and next for the next okay it will again show you that you don't have anything over here you don't have to discard from here okay you have to just select next to go to the other page now here are other details which you have already filled in the uh, registration part it says do you need hot, uh, hostel accommodation if yes you have to select yes then says do you have any illness or anything you have to select no for that or whatever it is you have to mention and then go to the next thing okay and then comes the next part here are the things which are required like you have to upload the certificates you have to upload class 10 certificate class 12 certificate you have to upload your graduation certificate you have to upload your master certificate then comes this clc uh, certificate now remember that this clc certificate or this particular provisional certificate is not mandatory you have to upload other certificates okay uh, you might get confused that what certificate they are asking actually so sometimes the uh, final degree is not provided especially for the masters right in that case you must be having a provisional certificate given by your institute so it is that certificate okay so in case if you don't have a mark sheet or certificate of your masters you can upload the provisional certificate all right so that is only for that otherwise it is optional if you are providing the mark sheet it will it is not going to be asked okay once you do that in that case then you will be having preview option and then you have to make payment that's all this is how the form is going to be filled i'm i cannot go to the other portion because i have to upload the files and all so i'm not going to do that but i hope major majority of the part i have already done just preview will be there and then you have to go to the next uh, page for the payment purpose right so i hope you all will be able to fill the form now properly and uh, if you have any other question regarding the admission process or regarding anything uh, about university of hyderabad and the research over there you can ask them down in the comment section below i'll try to make a faqs video separately where i'll try to cover all these questions of yours right so that's it from my side for this particular video i hope the things which we discussed in the video are clear to you and if you have any other doubt you can ask in the comment sections below all right thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much